Hi Dan here, Scooter Magazine. Right, we're back in the shed and today's job is to swap out the Clubman, which we've already done, and fit the Jolly Moto to into an expansion chamber. If you've been following the series, you'll know that I wanted to retain the street sleeper look, so I opted to run the Clubman. I knew I was gonna to have to sacrifice some power in order to do that, but when push came to shove and we got out on the road, um, it was more of a, a loss in power than I had bargained for and I really felt like I was just crushing the overall performance of the engine with that particular Clubman. So I've moved over to the Jolly Moto 2 into one expansion chamber and whilst we've got the scooter on the bench I've just taken the opportunity to give the scooter a bit of a once over um, and also um, we had a problem with the left hand side cab previously if you've followed the series you'll know that I had a problem with the right hand side Delorto float leaking uh, got that swapped out, got a fresh float in from Delorto. Um, they're about £20 for one of those, and um, I was just discussing this problem the other day before ordering the new float for the left-hand side with uh, John Gilbert. So, big th shout out to John Gilbert, thanks for uh, the info you gave me. Mentioned it to him how expensive they were for these floats, and he said, well, have you not tried the BGM refurb kit? And I, I hadn't. And so he had one in stock, which he, uh, he sent out to me, so thanks, John. And um, these are great. They've got the floats in and all sorts of little bits of other um, refurb items and they're just over slightly half the price. I think they're about 11 quid for the, uh, for the refurb kit. So bargain price and extra bits as well. So I'm going to get those floats slammed in in a minute. I've got the carbs on the bench, I'm just giving them a clean out. But I'm also going to re-jet the carbs because I was running a 50 Pilot because of the Clubman and a smaller main jet because of the Clubman. That was all fine jetting wise but now I'm going to have to up jet. Uh, to accommodate the expansion chamber. So I'm going to put a 55 pilot in, I'm going to flip it up to about a 130, 132 main uh, and then take it out for a road test. It's a bit of sort of suck it and see. Um, I've not run this pipe before so until I get out there and do some plug chops I won't know exactly how it's working out. But we'll get those jets in now and then we'll get out for a road test and see how it's doing.
Right, so we've been out and uh, I've actually done a series of test rides now. Um, I've shown you a video of one of those. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with the performance of the expansion chamber. So no surprises, it's performing much better than the Clubman. Obviously, I knew when I originally fitted the Clubman that there would be a sacrifice in power. Um, I just hadn't bargained on it being quite as much as it ended up being. Um, I'd also expected a much bigger difference in bottom end power. When I fitted the expansion, I expected, I expected there to be a bit of a loss in bottom end power. Um, and if there was one, which may well show up on a dyno, for example, out on the open road, seat of the pants, I didn't really feel it setting off from junctions and, you know, all the bottom end power, I didn't really feel a tremendous difference between the Clubman and the expansion, which is actually a really pleasant surprise. But predictably, through the mid-range and certainly at the upper end, much you know uh, better increase in power from the expansion, um, a, a longer rev range. And that longer rev range and increased power really helped with the GP200 Indian gearbox, where you've got a big gap between second and third. So I could rev it on a little bit longer with a bit more power, which helped me hook it into third gear going up hills uh, and keep on pulling. So all in all, I'm really pleased with that. I've upped the Pilot Jet from a 50 on the Clubman to a 55 on the expansion. I've still got the AV266 atomizer, which is quite a big atomizer for um, that size of engine. Obviously it's a 275, but they're, they're individually smaller, 137 uh, or thereabouts CC pots. So they're quite small to carry an AV266. So that's nice and healthy through the mid range. Um, I've got the X7 needle on the second clip. Um, my mixture screws, three, one and three quarter turns out. Um, running the 300 float valves and I upped it from a 128 main to a 132 and I'm gonna have a little another player on it and I might try a half clip setting on the X7 needle and I might try a 135 main um, on the main jet but um, other than that everything seems to be going really well and overall I'm very pleased with the performance of the expansion chamber. The only other thing that I've noticed is the clutch and I've got the Tino 6 plate 10 spring clutch in and when I had the Clubman pipe on, lower power, um, there was no problems. But I think now I can detect a small amount of clutch slip with the extra power. And I think that's because I've got the very, very um, soft springs in uh, on the clutch, which was fine for the Clubman. But now I've got the expansion with more horsepower, I think that I might need to look at just a, a slightly harder set of springs. So I'll have an investigation into that, get that tweaked, do an oil change, um, just keep an eye on things and uh, see how we go. See you on the next video.